steps to this process, as you know, and we're doing them simultaneously. Last time, we got nine petitions, but they came in in a very serial manner. Uh, this time, you know, we got six all at once. We had um, what, almost ten times as many signatures as, mm -hmm. as we had the last time, a little over 200,000 last time, almost two million this time um, on this. And so we're working on everything simultaneously. So the big thing was get everything scanned, uh, then do what we call our first and second review. And I can walk you through that review process. Uh, so we're still going through review of some petitions. Uh, we're going through, uh, once they're reviewed, then they get data entry. And what we do is we have this uh, database that we built beforehand where we put in for each petition page, each signature line, whether it was counted, if it wasn't counted, why. And so you see a lot of people doing data entry right now, and they're doing that. Now we just got the challenges from the senators, so we are migrating them into the database. That way we know if someone challenged a signature that we already struck, uh, we just add to the reasons. But that also, that database also allows us to get the final count. Uh, I had someone contact me over the weekend saying, well, how many signatures did they turn in? And the answer is, well, we haven't counted the governor's signatures. We're going through the first and second review, but the database will actually do that count because we will have for each page uh, an entry that shows that it's got 10 signatures on that page. How did we treat signature one? How do we treat signature seven? If we struck one, why? And there could be multiple reasons why something is struck. So we'll be able to generate a good report for the board and an accurate count of what's going on.